going on explorers brandon abandoned spot of their back stickler i've got a very cool spot for you guys here it's a beautiful house it's in a little subdivision it's been bought up by development a while ago so the cops have been using this house for staging little raids and just a lot of practice a lot of training so you're going to see a lot of those training bullets you're going to see holes kick certain areas but this house is very cool i'm surprised that it's getting demolished it's a beautiful house you guys are gonna like it i'm repping my american fans you know i love you more than anything we're here let's get exploring Explorers, we're gonna start here at the front door. It makes sense. Like a hole kicked here. Again, I think most of the damage here is gonna be from the cop training. I don't think it's gonna be just vandalism. But you never know. It's a little tiny bathroom. But like nice detail to the ceilings, everything's curved. Beautiful, beautiful wood trim. And this is where we got into the house was from the garage. I'll show you what's going on in here. Not too much. Somebody sprayed a fire extinguisher because there's this dust everywhere. Here we've got the basement, the upstairs, and the nice beautiful front door. It'd be nicer if that was a like a bay window. You have a little spot to sit, it add a little bit more depth. Just looks a little plain, just square and flat after all the ones that we've seen. Well, that's my backpack there, don't mind it. Let's see. These all these bullets lying around. They're the little training training blanks. A nice little crystal knob. <laughs> Hopefully there'd be a back to that. You wouldn't want to see that. But the plug's there, so you probably would. It's kind of ugly. Why wouldn't you put a back across here and just pull that so it's flush on the back? Then you could close it right up. That's strange. Very nice kitchen. I forgot to put my phone on silent. Oh. Now look at the uh, the crack going along the ceiling. I don't think that's because somebody tried to pull that light down. I think the ceiling's cracking. Yeah, so you can hear me kicking them. All the bullets all over the floor. Whatever those are, they're like pink tips to them. It's almost like they're like paintball bullets, but for training. Because you got some splatter here too. Some splatter on the counter. Some splatter up on the window.
I don't think there's anything left. This house is, it's been emptied. It's been emptied nicely by the people that moved out. We got a beautiful backyard. Nice little gazebo. Little pad over there. Those lights are cool. Quite big. Got a nice size backyard. Little hut. Little hangout fire pit. Nice big island. I guess you could use that as a dinner table, but I don't really see it being a dinner table. I think you'd still have your table here. There was a fireplace here. They took it all and even closed it up nicely. That's cool. You don't see them put the drywall, close it all up after they take a, take the fireplace mantle. Probably because it's, it was being used by the cops. Maybe they had it all done, all done on purpose. Can't see in there. Somebody had a brick in there though. Beautiful stained glass. There's cobwebs all on this side of the room. Got a nice molding around. The columns, beautiful. Big kitchen, big area. All right, so from here, you know how we go. Everybody start making your way upstairs. And I will see you there in a couple minutes. Let's make our way up these carpeted stairs. Soft and cozy. Nice handle at a good height. Looks like that door was kicked right down. We got a bunch of blood on the ground. Yeah, I'd say that's definitely, that's definitely blood, the way it's darkening and getting brown like that. Uh-oh. Somebody hurt themselves. Is that like a blast hole? It's weird that it's got Almost like a black water around it. That door is no more. Yeah. I think that's definitely a trail of blood. Hopefully it wasn't an explorer. Hopefully it wasn't anything too serious to whoever it was. And like they've got 2A and 2B written on things and like on the wall, they had it as well. So I'm thinking maybe they had things marked and that's how the cops were coming in. You've got to go to room 2A, take the door down. Mm. Well, this looks like it was cut a little bit and then kicked. I didn't know that. That's that other hole that was smashed. That's some LED lights going up around the room. <laughs> That's quite the hole. You'd almost think that could have been the uh, copper thieves. But the copper's still there. I'm sorry, modern bathroom, nice little shower, nice tile around, but then a nice, nice little vanity and sink area. This will be your main bedroom. 
The door's got a number spray painted on it also. Empty closet. We'll get to that bathroom in a second. I just want to see this little room. Not much going on. You've got your attic entrance. I'm surprised it isn't open. Nice big washroom. Beautiful sink. <laughs> Bathtub. Right by the window so you can get some light. Even look out and see the stars. There's always lots of bugs stuck in the tubs. Nice shower. I haven't seen one of those little bent pieces like that before. That's nice. A little seat, nice tile work. It's even got a nice little lip. Very cool. Very cool. So that's gonna be it for the upstairs. Again, sometimes these videos can be quick when there's not too much left behind. So I'll meet you all in the basement. All right, let's go back down these carpeted stairs now. The camera all confused. There we go. bullets on the stairs nice little curved section here very nice you added a little drop almost sounds like, like there's air conditioning or something going on oh, that nice little bulkhead it's just low I've got to duck my head to get under it This is a beautiful little bar area. Look at this. Have your TV and stuff going over here. Some nice lights along the ceiling. <laughs> little tiny basement window. Yeah, it's pretty snazzy. Let's see what's behind the bar. Nice. Big old storage room. That's going to take us somewhere. It goes through there. We're not going to walk through there. We'll see that from the other side when we get there. We're going to take the actual proper way. Again. More bullet casings all over from practicing, training. It's very nice with all the little bulkheads and the tile, little grooved walls. It's just, it's small, it's kind of tight, it's pretty low. It's still nice though, it's a beautiful basement. I like it. So we go this way. One Brandon, two Brandons, three Brandons. Ho, 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 ho. That's the other side. Remember we said we were going to see it. Now we are. It's a cool little area to put a stereo. And you can see the whole behind the scenes, how it works. <laughs> Fuse box. 
it looks like the basement's going to keep going. I thought this was going to be the last room. sitting up over here. I guess somebody was hiding uh, back in this tiny little room. Or maybe they were even behind there. They had the door closed and the guy was hiding behind there. Well, the cop had to come reach over top. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Very cool. Not a bad spot indeed. Take a wee walk back. With the mirrors and the little stereo, this might have been like a little dance room. That's what that might have been there. Let's just take one more little look. That's it for this beautiful home, the cop training house. I'll see you all outside by the sidewalk. You know, you know the routine. All right, everybody. What do you guys think about this house, eh? Very, very cool. Modern, in a subdivision, but used for training by the cops. It's getting beat up. It's going to be demolished soon. There's a few houses here that are all getting torn down for a development project. I'm actually in the second house now doing the outro for the first house. I'm sure a few of you guys noticed that, but like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments, for the love, for the views, for all your support. Brandon Abandoned, and I'll catch you on the next Explore. Ciao.